So this video is about demonstrating the features that my extension module to Ben Eater's uh, breadboard computer provides. And first off, it's the capability of saving and loading programs from the computer's RAM to EEPROM and restoring them later. So let's say you toggled in the Fibonacci program using the dip switches and um, now you realize that once you turn off the computer it's going to be lost and when you turn it on again you have to toggle everything in again. Now that's no fun. So what you can do with this module is um, you can actually save um, the program. How you do that is you first disable the clock then you tell the module uh, the file number that you want to save this under and we'll just say 9 here and you press the save button. Now you can see this light has turned on saying that the Arduino has taken control over the computer and um, you can also see that none of the um, the signal lights are on which is unusual um, but it's just a sign that now the uh, Arduino has taken over and will um, control the RAM from now on. So what it's doing now it's it's waiting uh, for the clock to turn on. So I'm going to turn on the clock and now it's loading the program, uh, saving the program to the Arduino's memory. And um, once the lights have stopped flickering, you can stop the clock again and the light goes off and now the computer is back in its usual state and um, the program is saved to the Arduino. Um, as we can demonstrate, so what I'll do is I turn this off. We can turn off the computer completely and we will turn it back on and if I start the clock obviously there is nothing here the program has been erased. So what I can do now is I can say okay I want to load program number nine the program that I just saved so I set the dip switches to program number nine I say I want to load a program and then again this light goes on I enable the clock wait until the lights have stopped flickering disable the clock that light goes off I can now reset the computer which I need to do because the program counter is in some weird uh, location so I want to reset everything but obviously a reset does not delete the program that we just entered and so now the computer is in its reset state I can turn on the clock and there is our Fibonacci program again so that's how you save and load programs um, uh, with this module Another capability I want to demonstrate is the auto run functionality, which basically allows you to automatically run a previously saved program um, when the computer starts up or when it's reset. So all you have to do is just set the dip switches to the program number that you want to run. So we previously saved the Fibonacci as number 9, so I'm going to do that, um, toggle that in here and just start up the computer and you can see the Arduino takes over right away loads the program and runs the program and so now immediately Fibonacci starts running. Next I want to demonstrate the monitor capabilities of the module which allow you to um, inspect and modify the RAM contents of the breadboard computer using your PC directly. So what I've done is I've connected a USB cable between the Arduino and the PC and on the PC I've started a terminal program that allows me to interact with the Arduino. So if I press any key right now the Arduino will just tell me that it's uh, waiting for the load and save buttons or for an escape character on the serial interface to enter the monitor. So I'll press the escape character and it says entering monitor and it's waiting for the clock signal to start. The clock is turned off right now. I'll turn on the clock and I get my command prompt. And on the command line now I can type, for example, uh, the memory read command. And the Arduino will read out the memory contents of the breadboard computer and show them in hexadecimal in my terminal. 
And what also I can do is I can modify the memory. So let's say I wanted to start writing bytes starting at address 8. I uh, type that in and now I can just start typing some bytes here in hexadecimal and um, say I'm done now and if I read the contents again I get the uh, I can see that here at um, this location it entered the bytes that I just typed in. Next up is the disassembler that's built into this module. So to demonstrate that, I'm just going to first load a program, which I can do from the command line just as well as using the buttons. So I just say load, say load program number four, and it loads the program. It also shows me what, what exactly was loaded. And um, this is actually the um, program that outputs 42 from Ben's videos. and. Um, what I can do is I can just say I want to disassemble and it starts at address zero and it shows me the commands. The module also includes an assembler which can be invoked by just typing A for assemble. You can give an address. If you don't give an address it starts at address zero and then you can start typing your program. I'm just going to have a little count up by sevens program here. Um, the exact um, description of how to use the assembler and syntax is in the project's description. I'm just going to type it in here. And I typed in the program, the assembler has accepted it, there was no error message shown. And um, so if I wanted, uh, wanted to run the program, I can now uh, go ahead and run it. Um, I will slow down the clock at first, and then start running, and then we can see on the computer here, it is counting up. By sevens, so it has accepted the program. Another thing that I can do in here is single step through a program. So I just reset the computer, so the program counter is at address zero, and if I type T, um, the monitor shows me the next instruction that will be executed, and if I press space, it executes that instruction and shows me the next instruction, so I can just as slowly as I want step through the execution of the program. And if I want to stop completely, just press escape and I'm back in the monitor. Um, and finally, what we can do is we can set breakpoints and run up to a breakpoint. Now if I disassemble this program, so we see uh, see what it does. So if I wanted to set a breakpoint at the point where the program resets, so after it has uh, gone all the way up uh, until an overflow occurred, I can just say I want to set a breakpoint at address 4 and then I can say run and it will run and after a while it will stop at address 4 and um, yeah, this is this is the point uh, where the the overflow occurred. I can quickly show the computer. The display shows 252. That means uh, yeah, 252 plus seven cost a carry overflow, and that's why we ended up at address four. So I can now, if I want to, I can just keep stepping from there, and we start the program over. So I hope this was informative. Um, I have worked with this quite a bit and it, it's quite a bit of fun to program the computer this way.